today I'm going to show you guys a simple video on how to use power windows in different areas of your video so that you can help balance or even correct some issues with exposure, color, or even effects to really get the look you want in DaVinci Resolve. You can see I've already put a power window around this shot. You see how overexposed it is right here? I had a light source a little too close and a little too bright. But now that I've graded and colored my image the way I want it, this does not look flattering. So I created a power window in this area and I brought down the exposure while softening the edges so you actually can't tell that I'm targeting just this area. This is just way too bright and really destroys the shot. But now everything looks a lot more balanced and professional. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to do this from scratch. We're gonna add a new node. So here in the color page, you're gonna go here to where it says window. All right, so now with that node selected, we're gonna go down here to the bottom left and we're gonna look for the little button that has an oval with some points around it. And if you hover over, you'll see it says window. Click on that. Now we're in the window tab. Now you have different windows you can make. For the sake of this video, because it's kind of in a radial area, I'm gonna select that and it'll create a circle in the middle of the shot. Now with this, you can move it around. You can expand the fall off area, which is where it starts to transition transition and kind of change from whatever effect you have in or outside the circle and how it starts to blend from there. So if you want a big gradual fall off, you can just increase this. If you want it sharp, minimize this. And then you can grab any of the blue points. So these are little white and red points, but the blue points will help you adjust the size and shape. Now with this in the area we want, we're gonna go to the color wheels. And essentially what I wanna do is bring down that exposure. If we wanna adjust the gradual fall off, go back to the window tab. And here you can see softness. You can decrease it, but then you'll see if you look closely, you'll start to see the sharpness and that looks terrible. So you definitely want it to be gradual and where you're not noticing a major exposure change or discoloration. So I tend to like something like this kind of. Now right now I took off the little settings here by going to the bottom left corner underneath the image and pressing off. But if I click on power window, then we'll get our transform tools back. All right, so let's see what it looks like there. And then with the power window off, yeah, I did a pretty bad job lighting this to be honest, but thankfully I'm able to correct it. I'd probably still go a little darker on these blacks. Now this is a static shot, but if you had a moving shot, you actually could track this power window by going into the tracker tab. And then from there you could track forward and backwards. Now keep in mind, if you have a very dynamic shot, using a power window like this, with this extreme amount of cut, might not work out in moving shots. You might have to dial it back down and only do a subtle exposure or color change. I'll do another video in the future that shows you how to use a power window in a more advanced shot.